quick. Graph y equals the opposite of 1 over x by hand, two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need graph paper or you can download this PDF and print it and press pause as needed any time during the video. We're going to graph this with the reciprocal dance. And please recall that the graph of a function and its opposite are reflections about the x-axis or mirror images about the x-axis. That is, they have the same x-coordinates, but the y-coordinates are opposites of each other. So we'll still begin from the origin, even though the origin is not part of the graph, it's not a point on the graph. But instead of going right one up one like we normally would on the reciprocal dance, we're going to go right one down one. And the reason for that is the opposite of the reciprocal of 1 is negative 1. Write 2 down a half. The opposite of the reciprocal of 2 is negative a half. And write a half down 2 because the opposite of the reciprocal of a half is negative 2. Left 1 up 1. The opposite of the reciprocal of negative 1 is positive 1. Left 2 up a half. The opposite of the reciprocal of negative 2 is positive 1 half. And finally, left 1 half up 2, the opposite of the reciprocal of negative 1 half is positive 2. And now that we have those, let's go ahead and draw in both the asymptotes, both the x-axis and the y-axis. Connecting the points, we get the two branches of a hyperbola. And comparing that to the parent function, which is in blue, you can see that, yes, the graphs are reflections about the x-axis. The second way, we're going to use a table. And for a table, we're going to use these six values that are traditionally on the y equals 1 over x graph. And then we're going to take the opposite of each of the y coordinates. So 1 half will go to negative 1 half, and then we'll plot 2 comma negative 1 half. 1 opposite is negative 1, so plot 1 comma negative 1. And 2's opposite is negative 2 over a half down to negative 2. The opposite of negative 2 is positive 2, so negative a half up 2. Opposite of negative 1 is positive 1, negative 1, 1. And the opposite of negative a half is positive a half, so negative 2 up positive 1 half. Again, we're going to go ahead and draw in both the asymptotes, which include the x and y axis. And connecting the dots, or points, we get the graph of the hyperbola. y equals the opposite of 1 over x. Comparing that to the parent function, you can see that the graphs are reflections about the x-axis.